hello friends welcome back to the youtube channel again and today we will discuss a question from quantum mechanics and the question is that find the relation between de broglie's wavelength of relativistic particle and the compton wavelength before finding the relation between de broglie's wavelength of relativistic particle and compton wavelength we need to understand two theory very briefly so first of all we need to understand de broglie's wavelength for relativistic particle and the second is compton effect now let us discuss the first one as we know it is a relativistic case so the energy total energy is given by e equal to under root p square c square plus m not square c to the power 4 here p is the momentum of the particle c is the speed of light and m not is the rest mass of the particle so by squaring both side we get e square is equal to p square c square plus m not square c to the power 4 and from the above relation we can write p is equal to 1 by c under root e square minus e not square here what is e not e not is the rest mass energy of the particle and is given by m not c square so squaring the both side we can write e not square equal to m not square c to the power 4 and thus we have we have substituted in this equation now we need to find the de broglie's wavelength for the relativistic particle and is defined by lambda equal to h by p where h is the planck's constant and p is the momentum of the particle now substituting the momentum in this equation we can write lambda equal to h c by under root e square minus e not square so this is the de broglie's wavelength for the relativistic particle now let us come to the second theory which is the compton effect let us consider of a photon of energy h nu which is incident on a particle of mass m not which is at rest the photon is collided with the particle and there is a transfer of some energy and momentum to the particle which in turn recoils making an angle theta with the horizontal axis recoil of particle and the remaining energy which is less than the incident photon is scattered let the energy be h nu prime is scattered making an angle phi with the horizontal axis so here the incident energy is h nu and the frequency here is mu and the scattered frequency is nu prime since the energy of the photon for the incident is higher than the scattered photon then nu is greater than nu prime here we can write the energy in terms of the wavelength so for the incident it is hc by lambda similarly for the scattered photon it is hc by lambda prime 
here lambda prime is greater than lambda so we need to find out what is the shift in the wavelength the shift in the wavelength is given by h by m not c into 1 minus cos phi where phi is the angle of the scattering of photon here you see that h by m not c is nothing but lambda c known as compton wavelength so the compton wavelength is given by lambda c is equal to h by m not c so we have discussed the two theories very briefly let us go to the relation between de Broglie's wavelength and the Compton wavelength. Now, in relativistic case, we know the mass of the particle is gamma times the rest mass of the particle, where gamma is equal to 1 by under root 1 minus v square by c square, which is less than 1. Similarly, we can write the energy is equal to gamma times the rest mass energy of the particle. So from this relation, what we can write? Lambda is equal to hc by under root. Let me substitute e with gamma e naught. Gamma square e naught square minus e naught square. Taking e naught square common, we can write under root e naught square gamma square minus 1. Also, we know that e naught is equal to m naught c square. By squaring both sides, we can write e naught square is equal to m naught square c to the power 4. So, by substituting this value of e naught square into the into this equation and taking out the m naught c square from m naught square c to the power 4 from the root we can write h c by m naught c square under root gamma square minus 1 so here 1 c and 1 c gets can cancelled we can write h by m naught c divided by under root gamma square minus 1 and also we know lambda c which is known as the compton wavelength is given by h by m naught c so the de Broglie's wavelength for the relativistic particle is equal to lambda c divided by under root gamma square minus 1 so this is the relation between the de Broglie's wavelength for the relativistic particle and the Compton wavelength. So that's it for today. Have a nice day.